Smoke a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Y'all know what the fuck we doing, man. It's Hot Thoughts TV. Niggas hot in the beach, man. I'm smoking a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. So what's your, what's your connection with Atlanta? See, RX Peso. Fujiano. How did that come about? Um, I met RX Peso in uh in LA. Um, I was in my boy Trophy crib. He pulled up, twenty twenty one scat, bitch gray. You feel me? And shit, I ain't really know bro like that at all. But uh, we just got to chopping it up and shit. You know, before you knew it, an hour later, shit, we was on the freeway. <laughs> You feel me going to a, you know what I'm saying, a play. You feel me? Like, racks. You feel me? My first time ever, you know what I'm saying? And we kind of just went from there. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, real street nigga. You feel me? He ain't he ain't caught up on the rap shit. You feel me? He ain't worried about it. Like, he, he good without it. You know what I'm saying? Nigga just a real rock star. Just live every day like a rock star. You feel me? Young nigga. You know what I'm saying? Nigga smart. You feel me? Have emotion. So shit, he the one introduced me to Fujiano though. You feel me? We was in Houston. And shit, he just told Fu, hey, this is my people. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's all he had to say. You know what I'm saying? Ever since then, you feel me? Like, niggas treat me like family. You feel me? On both ends. Anytime I come to Atlanta, you feel me? Pays up gonna pick me up. You feel me? Like before, after we doing whatever we doing in Atlanta, or no, no matter where I'm at, he gonna make sure I get to where I'm laying my head at. You feel me? No matter if it's five, six in the morning. You feel me? You know it's proven. You know, fool brought me out to Athens. You know what I'm saying? Where they from? And I seen how they how they living. You know, like like I'm just happy for 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 both of them niggas. You feel me? So shit, especially fool, cause she didn't, you know. Them niggas ain't really got nothing out there type shit. Niggas made some shit happen. You know what I'm saying? Nigga feeding the whole family and associates. You know what I'm saying? A whole lot of 4LA shit going on, man. And just uh, talking about Fujiano, he, he's one that had like a hell of a career already too and, you know, free food and all. But how, just speaking on like that, that, that nightclub, situation that was in, I want to say, Greenville. Uh, was it Greenville or Greensboro? Uh, I want to say it was... Probably was Greenville. Greenville, South Carolina, I want to say. Or maybe just a second. Yeah. Yeah. Greenville. Shit, I was, you know, I just, I seen that shit on the news, that shit crazy. That's all I really can say about it. So I just want to touch a little bit on Atlanta, you know, I feel like Atlanta and Houston got like a, a similar, like, I wouldn't say similar, but the music scene like has like a lot of similarities, but it also has like a lot of differences in terms of like the way that everybody works together out there. Well, I mean, you know, from the outside looking in at least, cause everybody, you know, in a city usually say that people don't work together, it don't matter where they're from, but what's your opinion just like in terms of the differences in Atlanta music scene, Houston music scene? Um, as far as Atlanta, I think they take it more seriously because they didn't see more niggas pop. They didn't see niggas really come from, you know what I'm saying, being on a block with nothing to having millions of dollars off making songs. And I think they understand that in the process of doing the music shit, all it takes is one song. You feel me? So, you know, I think Houston, we're at a disadvantage because we have uh, less media outlets than big cities like ourselves. We're the third biggest city, and we don't have that many media outlets or, or platforms that people can uh, catapult off of. Um, we don't have a lot of 18 and up clubs that strictly for young teenagers. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't have a big teenage party scene here. 
to where it's oh people can you know DJs can break new music and give the artists more opportunities to pop. You feel me? Um, I think overall um, the DJs are not in tune as they should be. Just overall about what's going on and who popping, they kind of like wait for some shit to catch them or pop and then start fucking with the situation, then fucking with the artist. You feel me? To get them to the next level after they've already reached a certain level. And I also think that most up and coming artists from Houston um, have the wrong impression when it comes to the OGs. You feel me? And the 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 ones who have paved the way before them. You know what I'm saying? They don't owe you anything. You owe them for, you know what I'm saying, even trying to do some shit to give us a voice. You feel me? So now it's time for you to do your part, you feel me, and make some shit shake. And we gon', you know what I'm saying, stamp it. But you you can't expect for 40 year old niggas, 45 year old niggas, you feel me, or 35 plus year old niggas to know what this 19 year old artist got going on or their music. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When they come across that desk or somebody else put them on, I'm pretty sure they'll, you know what I'm saying, fuck with the shit for sure if they like it. You know what I'm saying? Or if they if you if it if it can help the the you know what I'm saying, the the overall process of the, you know what I'm saying, city. But I think they be expecting them to come and swoop down and know what's going on and looking on everything type of shit. You see them in a certain type of light, but these people got real Shit going on. It's still life happening. They still trying to make more money off that shit that they did 20 years ago or still trying to, you know, get more gigs and shit like that. Mm-hmm. They not tapped into what you got going on. So I feel like that they got to do a better job of putting it in their face. And, you know what I'm saying? Or just not even giving a fuck about it and just putting their head down and working. 